Whatever you bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatever you permit on earth is permitted in heaven. So nothing should operate in this earth without your permission. Now, the problem is God's people don't know that. Because most of the people of God have never grown up. They have never gotten beyond babyhood. They're still sucking on a bottle. And if you hold services too long, they'll start whining. And my point to you is, is that because they've never grown up, they've never entered into the greater things and the greater works that God had planned for us. He had planned greater things for us. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 40. And so what we need to do is we need to get into those things. God is going to take us into some place. Over the second Peter talked about present truths. There are some truths that you can get now that you didn't get before. But he's planned those truths for you who are in this end time latter rain. So as we are looking at this and going through this, I'm going to preach this, but I'm going to preach it like I'm preaching to grown folk. I'm not talking about people who are physically grown up because you've got physically grown up 40-year-old babies in the kingdom. And what we got to do is get that diaper off and that bottle out of your mouth and stop hollering baba and snow, get some meat in your mouth, chew it up, because I'm going to throw some meat out there that you're going to have to take home and chew. You just can't take it and get it in here and shout, and that's all it is to it. The enemy doesn't care how many times you come in here as long as you can't buy this building out of your pocket cash. And you're supposed to be able to do that. I know what I'm talking about now. We flew down here in our own intercontinental jet paid for and laying back and just, just enjoying ourselves and laughing all the way. Now, that's a long, that's long ways from taking off all your clothes in the line trying to get, get on the airplane. So I'm just telling you, I'm, there ain't nothing wrong with public transportation, but I'm telling you right now, there's a better way to go. And God's people should be taken that way. Say amen to that. All right. So we're going to let this thing flow tonight. I said, we're going to let it flow tonight. Yeah. Amen. So just, just take it, and if it step on your toes, God will heal your toes. Jesus is in the house. He's a healer. Praise God. Are you following what I'm saying? See, we don't have much time, so I don't have time to pre- play and so forth and so on. I mean, I know I'm a player, but I don't have time to play. I don't hate the player, and I hate the game, but don't hate the play. All right. So, and we're going to have some fun along the way, but I want to give you something, and I'm going to just hit it and leave it. And and you take it, chew it up, and, and use it, because it'll work for you.